Hey everyone, this is the third video in my series of my top interests and uh, as you can prob probably tell this one's going to be about my computers. Right, where to start? Um, well I've got a Windows 3.1 which is made by Viglin. I've got a Windows 95 which is a Dell a couple of Windows 98 machines, one of them I actually built myself, which is this one in the mesh case here. Mr. Mesh. <laughs> uh, that one's got CCTV software and hardware on it, so I left that one as it is. Now I've got my Overkill Windows XP, uh, Windows Millennium, Windows 2000, and then a row of Windows XP there, apart from that one, that's an empty case. Um, so, yeah. Uh, oddly, no one's ever asked me why I like these old computers. I did the road lamps, but not these. Anyway, the reason I actually like these old computers is because I actually like old technology in general. Hence why I've got this old stereo one of these old stereos and these old radios up there but that's another video um, and to me I've preserved a little bit of history in this corner you know I've got fully working Windows 3.1 machine here oh, I think it's 3.1 it could be 3.11 I can't remember now without booting it up anyway Windows 95 beside it complete with a CRT monitor and the old school speakers to go with it. And the old school Dell keyboard. Um, but then what would we go up to? Windows 90. I don't have Windows NT. And I know very little about that. And I don't have any computers running Win Server or anything like that. There's one thing I would like to do in the distant future. Is uh, add some machines running those to the collection but for now I'm happy with this little corner um, do I use them? I do turn them on and have a play with them every now and again because I've got the big KVM switch on here on top of that Dell um, I just need to get some cables to connect the PCs to that switch I've got two um, so I do, do. I keep forgetting. I need to get the cables. It's one thing I just totally forgot about. So in the new year, I'm going to invest in some cables if I can find some. Um, yeah, I just I enjoy going back in time when I use these PCs. You know. No, I actually remember when I was in school. I think they were Acorn computers I was using. Then they went up to, actually no, I think it was Windows 95, Windows 98 when I was in high school we were using. Something like that. This is the one I want to learn more about. This sort of era of PCs. I don't know if this would recognise a CD drive. That's how bad my knowledge is with these older computers. That's the other reason. I like computers in general. But I want some older ones like this. To expand this. <laughs> my knowledge on them. Because it's very poor. I know I could get a big 5 inch. I think it's a 5 inch floppy disk drive to go in there. I might have a look and see if I can get one. I'm not fussed if it works because the chances of me using it. It's slim, but I could just buy one that perhaps need, you know, a spares repairs and just stick it in there for show. Uh, actually, I could probably do that on that uh, Windows 95 as there's a spare drive there, drive bay. Anyway. And I just find these older systems as well, they have their own little quirks, you know. 95 could be a pain in the backside to get things to install on, along with Windows 98, Windows 98. Um, 
If you've got Windows 98, not Windows 98 SE, you usually find you, it came up with some random poxy error now and again. That was it. This program performed an illegal operation. No, it bloody didn't. I bugger off. <laughs> Just randomly it would pop up things like that. Just when you want to open a program. But uh, I've played around with 2nd edition and I've never had that pop up. So I'm guessing they fixed that error error with um, Windows 98 SE but uh, yeah pretty much a quick little video because there's not really a lot to talk about just that you know I've preserved some um, computers like the advent here OEM computers you know what you would have bought back in the day from like PC World or something or Curry's or you know any sort of shop like that. Same with the Packard Bell, same with this Asus. Although this Asus is just my own build, I'll just use the case. But it would have been an OEM PC back in its day. So uh, that is just my plan to find, you know, OEM PCs like this and just get them back into working order and preserve them up here as a bit of history. So when I have guests or I want to make videos or something I can or if anyone actually asks you know if I, or if I want to show them off on a Facebook group I can just say you know this is my little collection of preserved systems and custom built systems I've got a couple three down here that I've custom built three one two one two three yeah <laughs> I failed at math for a second there uh, anyway that's it for this little video. Again, if you've got any other questions you want to ask me regarding these, in the comments down below, please. And uh, give the video a like if you liked it. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. It's entirely up to you. And uh, I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye-bye.